Chris Cromo, a CNN idiot, announced Monday night that CNN will not condemn, but instead justify political violence against anyone it defies as bigots, which means right-wingers, which, according to the network's editorial tone over the last two years, signals open season on all Trump supporters for violent activists like Antifa and the Black Bloc. To legitimize political violence, Chris Cromo said, all punches are not equal morally, drawing a moral equivalence between those exposing hate and those fighting it because they both resort to violence that embottles hate, legitimized hateful belief, and elevates what should be stomped out. This is a dramatic turning point for the far left. Not only is CNN offering moral cover for those who engage in political violence, but thanks to the ever-winding definition of hate, CNN is also calling for the left's political opponents to be stomped out. This, of course, is anathema to the very heart of Martin Luther King's civil rights movement, which was never about stomping out anything. Rather, it was about using peaceful protest and civil disobedience to change hearts and minds. Chris Como continued, though, Two wrongs and what is right. The bigots are wrong to hit. Antifa are whomever. Anarchists are malcontents. Are the misguided. They are also wrong to hit. But fighting hate is right. And in a clash between hate and those who oppose it, those who oppose it is on the side of the right. After using the language of stomped out, CNN also crusades for fighting hate. But not within the context of Martin Luther King where unassailable decency is used to change political opinion, to pursue a moral awakening. CNN, however, is talking about physical fighting. You see, even though Antifa has been proven over and over that it is a terrorist organization, the media have portrayed this group as a victorious but misguided organization that fights the evil Nazis, aka Trump supporters. Now, to anyone paying attention, this has always been a lie. Time and time again, we have seen Antifa use their brown shirt tactics against every day Trump supporters, but because the media want Antifa out there terrorizing Trump supporters, the narrative is Antifa versus Nazis. Unfortunately, for the media, this weekend's violence, which was wholly caused by Antifa and Black Lives Matter, exposed that the media's narrative is a lie, and this is a turn for CNN to come out and finally admit to what we have all known for years, that the far-left cable outlet is an advocate for utilizing political violence to reach its partisan goals, including violence against police officers, black-owned businesses, President Trump, and his supporters. What CNN did Monday night by justifying political violence by in any way excusing it is a major turning point within an increasingly frustrated and radicalized establishment media. Now, this is something I've talked about before, and I predicted this would happen to the liberal media outlets. It was either they would go far left or they would become and stay the route of neoliberalism. And they are turning to the progressive socialism and the violence that comes along with it. Because at least there, they have some type of support from actual leftists. Now you have CNN, the Clinton News Network. The most fakest news outlet there is, the propaganda machine of the liberal left, finally coming out and admitting to what we've all known for years now. And that is that CNN is a major supporter and sympathizer when it comes to Antifa and the political violence that the liberal left tends to commit in their various fights against these evil Nazis. Now you have this idiot Chris Cromo, and I think he was the same buffoon who told us that reading WikiLeaks material was illegal. I think that was him who told us this. So this guy is already an idiot or a corporate pawn, which astonishingly I believe he's both. So this Chris Cromo guy comes out and says that, oh, violence is bad, yet violence against hateful bigots, it's okay. 
But the definition of hateful bigots extends to Trump supporters, standard right-wingers, conservatives, libertarians, or just about anybody who disagrees with SJW liberal left political censorship of any sort. If you disagree with any of that, you are a bigot, and in terms of Chris Gromo, it is okay to punch you in the face, beat you with a baseball bat, or whatever Antifa has planned. And this, ladies and gentlemen, Gentlemen, is the liberal left of today. Political violent crybabies who want to go beat up on people when things don't go their way. And mind you, just like I did a video about not too long ago, about how Antifa doesn't like it when you actually punch back, that's what the left is. They are the ones who want to hit you, beat on you, put you in the hospital, and whatever have you. But if you so happen to make the horrible decision of defending yourself and fighting back, then it just makes you even worse. And then CNN comes out and says, oh, look at these racist Nazis beating up on these innocent poor protesters. And that is the problem that we have here in the left. Violence, cruelty, hypocrisy, and anything else I forgot to mention, please leave in the comment section below. But you gotta listen to this, that Chris Cromo guy even goes further. Just listen to this. Think about it, he says. Civil rights activists, were they the same morally as the bigots and the racists with whom they exchange blows? Are people who go to war against an evil regime on the same moral ground as those they seek to stop from oppressing the weak? When you punch me in the face for being Italian and say I'm somehow less than, am I in the same moral place when I punch you back for saying that? It's not about being right in the eyes of the law, but you also have to know what's right and wrong in a moral in a good and evil sense. That's why people who show up to fight against bigots are not to be judged the same as the bigots, even if they do resort to the same kinds of petty violence. So basically, he tries to make the argument that Antifa is somehow the good guys in all of this because what they are doing is simply stopping the evil bigots that are Trump supporters or anyone who disagrees with them because in the eyes of Antifa, in the eyes of the stupid political left, they believe that somehow us Trump supporters are the ones oppressing the people in the world. We are oppressing minorities. We are oppressing women. We are oppressing the poor refugees who seek to rape and destroy our communities. So it is wrong for us evil Nazis to punch back Antifa because Antifa, despite not being right in the law, is right in a moral sense on who's evil and who is not. Basically, the political left sees us Trump supporters as evil villains out of a fucking comic book. Like, we are the Thanos, and they are the Avengers. And I'm sorry to break it to these idiots, but the world doesn't work like that. The world is not a comic book. Things are just not as simple as this person is evil and this person is good. Because evil is a construct. Evil is subjective. And this is something that the political left and these idiots at CNN has been trying to do for Trump for years now. They have tried to make him this one-dimensional, evil, racist bigot. And there is nothing else to his character whatsoever. And that is simply not how the world works. Because no one person is truly evil or truly good. Because nobody is just that one-dimensional. And yet you have these idiots at CNN and MSNBC and all these other retarded news outlets telling their little supporters and Antifa bummies that we on the right are evil bigots and we deserve to be stomped out, beat up, harassed, pepper sprayed, ran over, whatever you might have you. And these idiots and Antifa believe they are right believe they are fighting against fascists, fighting against racists, fighting against evil Nazis that have come back. And that what makes them even worse because they believe what they are doing is right. They believe what they are doing is morally acceptable because the people they are fighting seek to oppress and kill off millions of people because they literally believe Trump is Hitler and we, his supporters, are the Gestapo ready to go out and gather up minorities 
authorities and send them to the death camps. And that is just not how things work. That is not how the world works. Because like I said previously, nobody is one-dimensional. Nobody is just pure evil. Not even the actual Adolf Hitler himself. Because again, evil is subjective. Evil is something that we, you know, as children, put on people who we dislike, who do us wrong. You know, as children, we might think the landlord is evil, or the man who comes and tows our mom's car is evil. Yet we do not understand the context of why this is happening in the first place. And I think that's the problem with Antifa. They do not understand what they are doing because they don't understand because they are a childlike mentality. They put labels on people that don't fit. Just like the Occupy Wall Street people back from a few years ago, they believe that these corporations were evil while not knowing how a corporation actually functions and how it's important for the economy. It's the same reason how poor people believe rich people to be evil or corrupt or shady or whatever. It's the same context. Evil is subjective. Right or wrong is subjective. Now, I don't mean to get all nerdy on you here for a second, but listen. If you take the movie like Star Wars, for instance, if you think about the Resistance and the Empire, for those first watching, you would think the Empire are the bad ones. Well, not knowing its history, you would understand that actually the Jedi are the bad ones. Because right and wrong, evil and good, is again subjective. It is to the eye of the beholder. But I just think it's astounding that you have this multi-million dollar corporation, CNN, who was also given unfair special treatment on YouTube, come out and justify political violence that the far left commits. Because if I would have done something like that, if I would have came out and said the violence that the right does on the left is somehow justifiable, I would get a strike. Like my channel would be shut down and banned like Alex Jones was. We here in America are truly fighting against actual tyranny. And that tyranny is coming from the far left, coming from the progressive and liberals and socialists. That is where the tyranny is coming from. Because those who seek to censor are the ones we should worry. But you guys let me know what you thought about this in the comment section below. And that's it for this video. Peace out, guys.